What is going on guys? Welcome to your 75th Java tutorial and in this tutorial we're going to be going over how to handle those mouse events. So in the first tutorial we pretty much we built a window. So let's go ahead and go outside our constructor right here and we want to make a new class. And let's go ahead and make make it private class and you got to name it whatever you named it up here so I named mine handler class and then what we want to do is implement from two other classes so implements mouse listener and it also implements mouse motion listener so hopefully those errors go away and they did so now what implement means is we have to use every method that was in the class mouse listener and there are five methods in this and mouse motion listener and there are two methods in this so what Java did is they put methods inside mouse listener and mouse motion listener to automatically detect mouse events so whenever you move your mouse it's going to be registered in an object called an event so let's go ahead and I'll just start building these methods and you'll see exactly what happens so the first methods we need to implement are those five methods from mouse listener and these are mouse press mouse clicked mouse released mouse entered and mouse exited and I'm gonna tell you guys what these do when I go through them but for now let's go ahead and build our third one first one so public void mouse clicked and what this does it is whenever you click down the mouse and what this means and I know you guys probably saying alright I know what click means when you press and release the mouse really click really quick wow embarrassing that is a click now a mouse press and a mouse release are two different things so you know maybe you guys didn't know a click man after all but this is what Java defines a click as so and all of these parameters are going to take something called this mouse event event so you might as well just go ahead and copy that and copy that like that because we're going to be using it a lot later on so now whatever we type in here is finally what we want to happen when the mouse gets clicked so let's go ahead and take that status bar and we want to change the text on it so status bar dot set text and what do we want to set the text equal to well let's just go ahead and put uh, let's put string format and in our format parameters it takes two parameters itself and the first one is clicked at percent D comma percent D so it's gonna say clicked at two coordinates and Java also has two coordinates based on this event right here why do you have this event because it registers the event like when you click it decides where it clicked and you can get to this the locations by clicking event get X and also you guys probably can't see this is that a little better and also event dot get y with empty parameters so now whenever you click this you get the x coordinate and the y coordinate of where the event happened and you guys can see this later on but for now let's go to the next event the next ones will be a lot easier i just want to demonstrate that you can get the x coordinate and get the y coordinate in one of them but in the rest of the methods i'm going to make them real simple so we made something that happens when the mouse is clicked but we need to implement the rest of the functionality and the second one that we need to implement is public void mouse released and this is what happens when you release that mouse button so actually let's go the second one is mouse pressed that people usually do so let's go ahead and mouse pressed is what happens when you press down that mouse button so go ahead and throw your mouse event event parameters in there and for the body let's just go ahead and put something like status bar dot set text this is going to change the text on our status bar to like you pressed down the mouse so now this is what happens that or excuse me the status bar is going to pop up this text whenever we press down the mouse and now we can get the public void mouse released and this is the event of when the mouse releases or after you press it down you let go of the button so 
this is a lot easier to see with our program actually so let's just go ahead and copy this now because we are too lazy and it's gonna say mouse release so you release the button so now we have three methods that we implement what happens when you click the mouse what happens when you press and release the mouse and believe it or not these are actually three separate things I know you think press and release is the same thing as clicking but trust me to Java it isn't so now in this class there are two other methods that we need to implement public void mouse entered and what this is going to take is of course our mouse event event first of all can't forget that paste that baby right there that's what I'm talking about and what mouse entered means is this is the event when the mouse enters the area and our area is of course um where are you mouse panel right here so this is what's gonna happen whenever the mouse enters the mouse panel so remember up here we put it at white by default so now let's go ahead and change that um actually the first thing we can do is put status bar dot set the text to something like um you know you enter the area not bad and now let's go ahead and change the color of our mouse panel so mouse panel dot uh, set background not bad drowned set background and what do we want to set it to when the mouse enters um let's put a, something noticeable color dot red or something like that i mean red's pretty noticeable come on so of course you're wondering all right you have a mouse entered method uh... something tells me that you're probably going to have a mouse exited method as well well if you guess that then you would be correct so public void mouse exited make sure i didn't spell excited i do that sometimes because i myself get excited about this method sometimes so you know it happens so go ahead and type mouse event event nothing new so what this happens whenever the mouse exits the window pretty much in essence so the first thing we want to do is set status bar set text and put um the mouse has left the window bam pretty much make sure you spell the wrong make sure you put he instead because i'm too lazy to fix it although I easily could have just fix it right there anyways enough of that so now let's take that mouse panel in whenever the mouse is in the window it's going to be red so whenever we exit the window let's go ahead and set set background um, we'll just set this to um, I guess white again I mean why not make sure we don't got any errors and we didn't so all of these five methods right here these are the mouse listener events but again we implemented for mouse listener and mouse motion listener lucky for us mouse listener has five methods which we already did and mouse motion listener which is um, the ones that the methods are mouse dragged and mouse moved it only has two so this one's gonna be a lot easier so in the next tutorial we're gonna finish up building this program and all we have to do is implement these two methods mouse motion listener um, which are like I said dragged and moved and once we do that we can finally run our program and see what it does and it's gonna be awesome it's gonna be amazing but for now thank you guys for sticking with me thank you for learning Java with me don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I will see you next tutorial